I like Ibex. Ibex reads, I, I, I. Ibex reads, I, I, I. Ibex reads, I, I, I. Alex Ibex thought a lion or a tiger might be in the lilac bush, but it was only Smiley, Alex Ibex's kitty cat. When Alex Ibex talked to Irene on the phone, they had a good laugh about Smiley the cat. Irene asked Alex Ibex to forgive her for making up stories. Irene remembered that it was never right to tell a lie. Later, Mama Ibex had a fine idea to earn money for the missionaries. Mama Ibex helped Alex Ibex have a limeade stand out by their pine tree. The neighbors came by limeade made with sliced limes and ice. Soon, Alex Ibex had a fine pile of nine shiny dimes to give the missionaries. Suddenly, Alex Ibex smelled smoke. Sure enough, black smoke was rising high in the sky. Then Alex Ibex saw orange and yellow flames poking through the smoke. Alex Ibex cried, "Ma, ma!" Mama Ibex had been ironing. Mama Ibex quickly unplugged the hot iron. Then she ran to Alex Ibex's side right away. Call Papa Ibex! cried Alex Ibex. Call the firehouse! There is a fire somewhere nearby. Papa Ibex and the other firemen must come fast. Mama Ibex ran to dial the firehouse telephone number. In quite a short time, Alex Ibex could hear the sirens on the fire trucks. Eee, eee. Soon, Alex Ibex saw Papa Ibex driving his shiny red fire truck to the fire. Mama Ibex and Alex Ibex watched the fireman work. Mama Ibex and Alex Ibex stayed on the white porch on the side of their house. Papa Ibex had thought. Mama Ibex and Alex Ibex that it is not wise to get close to a fire. Alex Ibex watched Papa Ibex work hard beside all the other firemen. Water pipes and long hoses were lying all around. The brave firemen worked with all their might to put out the fire. Finally, the fire was out. Papa Ibex and his fireman friends were grimy and tired. Papa Ibex walked over to the limeade stand. Alex Ibex walked over to the limeade stand too. Limeade with ice does sound very nice. Papa Ibex smiled at Alex Ibex. Gather around, fireman friends. Papa Ibex. I want all the firemen to have a cup of limeade for free," announced Alex Ibex kindly. The firemen enjoyed the icy limeade. Then it was time for the tired firemen to go back to the firehouse. The firemen would clean the grime off themselves. They would put up all the water hoses. Then they would shine up the fire trucks. Bye bye. Said Alex Ibex as Papa Ibex and his fireman friends returned to the firehouse. In a little while, a hot spark from the old fire floated down beside the limeade stand. The hot spark landed on a pile of dry pine needles under Alex Ibex's pine tree. Yikes! cried Alex Ibex. I must put out this hot spark before it starts another fire. Alex Ibex was thinking fast. I have an idea. 
I'll pour limeade on the hot spark, exclaimed Ilex Ibex. Ilex Ibex quickly poured limeade on the hot spark. Phew! Mama Ibex had been watching Ilex Ibex. That was quick thinking, called Mama Ibex. You are very brave, Ilex Ibex. My, oh my, said Ilex Ibex, shaking his head. I am not really brave. God help me to think what to do. What an exciting time we have had today, Ilex Ibex, said Mama Ibex. It is almost time for the missionaries to arrive. Ilex Ibex jumped up and down with delight, with joy. May I help you get ready, Mama Ibex? May I? Yes, I need help, Ilex Ibex, agreed Mama Ibex. You may help set the table. Use the white napkins. Do you remember on which side of the plate to put the knife? I remember, Ilex Ibex told Mama Ibex. The knives go on the right side. Mama Ibex paused to think a tiny while. Hmm, I like Ibex. Please put my ivy plant in the middle of the table. Our table will look very nice. Then Mama Ibex went out to the kitchen. I like Ibex went to work. I like Ibex was just about ready to set Mama Ibex's ivy plant on the table. Suddenly, the pot began to slide right out of Ilex Ibex's hooves. Oh no! Ilex Ibex did a dive, trying to keep the pot from falling on the floor. But the ivy kept sliding and falling down. Slide! Clunk! The pot fell on the floor. Ilex Ibex could hardly believe his eyes. Mama Ibex's ivy pot had a big break on one side. My, oh my, said Ilex Ibex softly to himself. What shall I do now?